you know, there's the idea of flying this rocket to orbit, okay, so you need somebody to operate that in the front seats and you actually have a flight engineer with there and another guy watching over managing the procedures. So that takes uh, pretty specialized training that we all got. We had two military pilots on board, but we also had uh, a military uh, uh, backseater as well with Mike Good, and then civilians like John, Nass, and Drew, who were very well trained in their aspects of the spacewalking, but also other things, uh, being able to help us with getting up to orbit and back down. So there's a lot of jobs that have to be done, and there's a lot of inner training. If, if someone were to put on one of the spacesuit gloves uh, for the first time and try and handle the kind of tools and tiny screws and things like that, you'd probably say that it's simply impossible. But you know, my experience has been that if you spend enough time in the suit, uh, and this is the marvelous thing, thing about human beings with you know, these incredible hands, that you learn how to adapt to whatever limitations these pressurized stiff gloves give you. And eventually, you get to the point where you sort of forget that you're in a spacesuit wearing these big bulky gloves uh, to a certain extent. On the other hand, you always want to remember, you know, don't use your hand as a hammer or anything because, you know, <laughs> you know if you puncture a glove, that would be a very bad day. But, but I found that you know, once the gloves were all tuned up and with all the time that I had in the spacesuit, uh, that it was just like working you know, in my garage. So Megan, here we are, we're on orbit. It's uh, day three, right? And Hubble is out there floating. Scooter's got Hubble you know, relatively motionless, but you have to fly the arm and grab the most amazing scientific instrument ever created by humans. Uh, and you, no got one, you got one shot to grab it. What were you thinking? Well, it was a it was a remarkable day, and um, for the most part, what I remember thinking while I was in space was everything looked the way I expected it to look, and that's a testament to our training and how good our training is. And we we spent um, hundreds of hours together and separately in the various trainers that we have, uh, Scooter, Ray J, and I training in the virtual reality, uh, the dome we called it, um, to practice rendezvous, and then uh, separately I would be in there with my instructor to practice grabbing the the telescope with the robotic arm. And what I remember first about the rendezvous was we were coming up closer and closer and, and Ray J's up there in the pilot seat uh, running the rendezvous from up there and Scooter and I are, are at the back windows and we're looking out at the telescope and we're, we're looking at it and we're sort of looking at each other and saying, it, that doesn't look quite right. It's not, I don't think the telescope is where, you know, is in the attitude that it's supposed to be in. And, uh, and we, and we kind of told Ray J and, he, and Ray just, oh no, I'm sure it's fine. You know, of course he can't see out the window what we can see. And, but because we had spent so much time in the simulator, just from looking at it, we knew that it didn't look quite right. And sure enough, then we got the call from the ground that said, hey, we, don't, we haven't had time to get the telescope where it needs to be, you guys need to, to fly around. So that was, you know, we're expecting it to go one way and then there was a, a little wrench thrown in. But, um, but we had done that in our last training session um, right before we left for the Cape. So that was, we were ready to do that. And then coming up uh, closer and closer to the telescope, as John said, you know, Scooter had flown it uh, so well that really the telescope relative to us is, is not moving at all, even though we're, we're all going 17,500 miles per hour around, around the Earth. Um, so I felt very calm, actually. I did, um, I think, break into a cold sweat right after I had uh, grabbed it, but I felt pretty calm uh, right up to that point.